Hello Leo, welcome to your 2019 Equinox reading. I'm going to be using the deck of the Qatars. This is the Dutch translation Qataren. Just look for the Qatars with a C or a K and an S at the end. It is a very interesting story. What I'm going to tell you about it is that they the first religious people who lived in the medieval times who believed they lived in the matrix. They just called it the shadow world. That's all about what I'm going to say about it. Just look up the Qatars. It's a very interesting story. So let's get into your reading. I'm going to pull five cards. One concerning the problem in the middle and four cards lying around concerning two negative and two positive aspects. So I shuffled a bit, measured twice, cut once. The problem, the negative aspects and the positive aspects. So let's see what the problem is. And we have Lucifer in the middle. So the problems might be that you have a false belief. Lucifer is in this deck, the Hierophant within the darkest, deepest, darkest, there is light to be found. Within the Qatarian belief, the God of the Old Testament or the God within the dark was the creator of the evil. The demiurge of the fallen world where, the human where humanity had to live. A God within the New Testament or the God of light and who Jesus was a manifestation of, the first angel, roamed over the paradise of the world. The destination was who was the destination of all good people between these two counterparts counterparting forces st stood lucifer the original of the angels within the heaven he was by satan misleaded and taken from heaven and banned to the earth to become a devilish deceiver so the deep um, the light aspect about this card, who might concern your, your problem, is about deep consciousness, deep awareness, the knowledge of bigger wisdom, esoteric knowledge, tradition, inspiration and good advice. So you might have a lack of insights, um, but you might also be gaining that in this way. If it's the problem, it might be something you're working on. And um, so the Hierophant um, points to the inner impulse of the human being. So let's see what we have for negative aspects concerning your enlightenment in some way or maybe dogmas to be solved we have the seven of love in the reverse and the knight of shields seven of love is the seven of cups and this card points to a dreamer who builds air castles who makes his own plans and forgets the reality of the life way he doesn't forget the li the reality of the life way he keeps pointed to his tasks within his life. Other people's plans are maybe seeming perfect, but they might be worthless in the end. If you ever had been a follower of a leader, then you had to take care not to, uh, uh, not to add to the other being lost on misleading roads. So follow your own way within the upside down. It might show that there is a stronger will and determination. Maybe it makes it stronger now to independence of the image you have for yourself. The wish to be successful or to have love conquered can make that you see the real important points in life. So you are really illuminated within the negative aspects of this reading. So it might be even upside down, which it points to your imaginations, your plans, 
the eruption of fantasy, meditation, illusion of success. So don't be delusional, but you are very inventful. You might also make wrong plans, maybe, or be desireful or be full of will. So it's an ambitious card, this. And the Knight of Shields, which is the Knight of Pentacles, points to someone who is usually an, an adventurous person or who is a leader that can support people. Within this reading, the card can point to an exciting relationship or an important business you are in, something where you can get dragged away with. You're probably someone who likes to be in the center of attention and who takes exciting and quick decisions and might uh, wander off to the way you once where you once started you might wander off too far you might be someone who may be too easy in romantic love or goes uh, in retro when a deeper meaning is needed your uh, attempts to neutralize it can lead to misunderstandings so in the positive aspects of the negative uh, so it's an upside down card it's in the negative aspects so it might point to decisive uh, divisiveness misunderstanding alienation uh, not uh, seeing eye to eye or unexpected changes in the light aspect it might point to divorce leaving a flight a distant travel abandonment evasiveness and uh, the going within the unknown so that might be something you need to work on a little bit within being adventurous you also need to be um, uh, never mind let's see the positive aspects you have the knight of grails which is the hermit and the pen, uh, the the page of uh, love. So the page of love is about a card who seen you are a follower. So it points to following again of a leader, and where you can be someone who is to complimenting him with your skills and knowledge of this person you admire and you mimic whatever they also embody maybe you have someone who is in your surrounding who's a brilliant speaker and maybe you think about the sweet words of this uncertainty might be hidden in his words so within the light aspect of the positive you might be an extraordinary person who is surprising, a stranger, a wonder child, loyal, you might be loyal on a disciple, not a disciple, but a, an adversary of some sort, being an ambassador, and with the hermit card, or the knight of the grail, what might it point to in the positive way in your life? There is something about being uh, the hermit, observation and vision gu uh, guide you with each step. So the relationship between the Qatars and the Holy Grail is very long lasting. The story makes the rounding that within the sieging of the fort of Montségur, or which is the tower in this deck the defenders put on a silver one of the defenders put on a silver silver harness and he showed himself within the the cantles of the castle and the people thought it was the grail knight and they thought they he came to defend them so definitely look up that story about the Knight of the Grails and how he fooled the seizing army who was sieging Montsegur for more than 10 months. 
So this card might point to truth seeking time, being cautious, uh, being grown up, cautiousness, profession, letting go and the freedom to act. So you are very centered and within alignment, um, Leo, you are really living your purpose. So thank you for watching to this reading and hopefully see you next time.